Hey guys, James Reeves with TFB TV. As you all know, just got back from SHOT Show 2019. Super jacked about it. I love SHOT Show. And one thing that was really cool about SHOT Show this year, what I love the most about SHOT Show this year, were the amount of pistol caliber carbines. And I think that has something to do with the Army's subcompact weapon solicitation. You may be familiar with the fact, we've been talking about it over at the blog, at thefirearmblog.com, quite often that the Army solicited a bunch of these manufacturers to try to get them to submit a subcompact 9mm PDW for some sort of funky government contract. It's kind of like things are cyclical, right? You go from having like the MP5 9mm carbine to moving to the Mark 18, seeing shorter and shorter M4s in rifle calibers to now the 9mm carbine coming back into vogue because there are a lot of really neat things you can do with a nine millimeter carbine that you can't really do with a rifle caliber carbine so i'm glad to see this trend i'm glad to see that there were so many pistol caliber carbines and submachine guns at shot show 2019 in fact of all the shot shows i've been to this one by far had the most so i was absolutely giddy racing from every single manufacturer that was displaying a new pistol caliber carbine. I had a very tough time picking my five favorites, but here they are. Number five, the Angstat Arms SCW9, or Subcompact Weapon 9. If you think this is just another 9mm pistol caliber AR-15 that accepts Glock mags, you're absolutely wrong. It's got some unique functions and capabilities, and that's what you're going to see with the rest of this list. All of these guns are not just run-of-the-mill 9mm AR-15 clones that you could pick up from, say, like Palmetto State Armory, right? Just get one for like 400 bucks from there. No, these all do something neat. They all do something different. And the Angstat, its claim to fame is the overall length of this thing, whenever you have the stock collapsed, is only 14 inches. And it weighs about four pounds. But it has our new subcompact weapon stock, which collapsed, it reduces the overall length to two and a half inches. So it's an extremely lightweight and compact package. Now it's done that through using, they say a non-proprietary bolt carrier group, and I wish in my interview I would have pushed to say, okay, well, who makes the bolt carrier group if it isn't you guys? So they're saying it's a non-proprietary bolt carrier group that's smaller than your average AR-15 bolt carrier group, which allows it to have a stock that's only two inches long whenever it's collapsed, and that's pretty much unheard of for AR-15s. Angstad invented this stock, and it is really cool. Extremely compact, but still very easy to deploy and stable. Four inch barrel, three lug adapter. It's built on the same chassis. Receiver systems are UD P9, which has been out for about five or six years now. Very popular in the market. Uh, nine millimeter, obviously like all of our stuff runs on Glock magazines, mm -hmm. kind of the yeah, running sure. joke, right? Oh yeah, right? Yeah. It's got a free floating M-Lock handguard and it uses many AR-15 parts and accessories and has the same manual of arms. So if you're an M4 guy, you can pick one of these up and just start running. Also, it's one of the six finalists for that army competition I mentioned. They bought 10 units from Angstad Arms for further testing. So congratulations to Angstad Arms. I met those dudes at shot this year for the first time. Super cool guys. So I hope that trial goes really well for them. Moving on to number four, the Stag 10 millimeter carbine. It's about damn time that somebody made a 10 and a half inch short barreled 10 millimeter AR-15 carbine that accepts Glock 20 mags. Thank God Stag finally came out and done did it. It does take Glock magazines. So our magazine well is specifically designed to not accept properly the improper magazine. So if you have a 40, if you're holding a 40 or in near case you're holding the 10, you can't put the 40, uh, 40 magazine inside the 10 millimeter lower. Okay, yeah, so if I try to jam a Glock 23 mag in here, not gonna work. Not without a hammer. But I, yeah, but if I put a, a 20, it'll slip right in. Correct. It's simply an AR-15 style pistol caliber carbine that accepts Glock 20 mags. It's got a lightweight handguard, 10 and a half inch barrel. They've got some neat design features integrated. Again, the handguard, very lightweight with M-lock attachment points. So while this one is perhaps the most bland, it doesn't have any special tricks per se. It's just a 10 millimeter AR-15. But can you really say it's just a 10 millimeter AR-15 SBR with a 10 and a half inch barrel that accepts Glock magazines? I don't think so. That's pretty cool. Moving on to number three. Number three as in tri-lug. 
for the PTR9KT. A lot of you saw my reveal from last year of the new PTR9. They sent me one for testing. It's basically, that's their MP5 clone. PTR, who's made reliable, good PTR91 308 rifles for years. They finally started making 9mm MP5 clones. We got a first look at them last year at SHOT Show. Got to shoot them off-site, and that was a really neat experience. And then I got my review copy. I ran the heck out of it, and now we've got a full auto sear in it, and we've just been running it silly, and it's worked perfectly the entire time. So I'm really excited to see them launch the sexiest version of the H and K MP5, and that is the MP5K, which has the shortest barrel of all the MP5s. And this is essentially an MP5K, but with added bonuses. With PTR, not only do you get the original diopter sights, but you also get a rail for your optics, unlike the original MP5. Not only do you get a tri-lug like the original MP5K, but you also get half by 28 threads in front of that. So you can mount your suppressor either with your tri-lug adapter or by direct thread your call. It's also got a button and a paddle mag release. h and K's civilian guns, often they don't come with the paddle mag release, which is just silly because it's one of the best features. It comes with an SEF lower ready for a sear drop-in. That is, it's got the three position selector for safe, single fire, full auto. So if you have a sear, just drop it in, you're good to go. Unlike the HK with the plastic furniture, it's got a free floating M-Lock handguard. And one of the neatest features about PTR's MP5K is it accepts MP5 stocks or SIG MPX stocks. All of that is why it's number three. Pressing onto my number two, which arguably could be a number one contender, that is the Fight Light MXR. What makes the Fight Light MXR so unique? Well, its upper is the registered component, which makes it easy to swap out your lowers. You can go from nine millimeter Glock mag lower to an FN 5.7 lower. Obviously, you're also gonna have to change the barrel, but fortunately, that's not tough because it uses an Uzi style barrel nut. You can swap the barrel in seconds. At the present moment, they're making it in 22, 9 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 40, 357 SIG, 45, or 5.7, or at least that's the plan so far. The first guns that are going to ship are going to be Glock 9 millimeters. Right. I mean, they're, so you could take the double sack Glock mags, throw that in, and then say a year down the line, you get a crazy uh, idea to switch to like SIG or like CZ or something like that. We're going to have adapters that you take the two pins out and you drop in from the top and it'll orient the magazine in the right spot. So you can take CZ, SIG, Smith & Wesson, so forth and so on. You can really adapt it to any magazine of any caliber too. 5.7, 22 LR, you can do a 40, 357 SIG, 45 ACP, and even 10 mil. There's also going to be compatibility with Glock mags, SIG mags, Beretta mags, CZ mags, S&W mags. All you have to do, switch out the lower, switch out the barrel. It's got M4 type controls, same general manual of arms. However, what's really neat is the MXR has a left-hand non-reciprocating charging handle. But perhaps the most incredible thing about the MXR, you're hearing about all of these pistol caliber carbines that are going to be in excess of $1,000, maybe in excess of $2,000. The MXR is going to come in at $799 MSRP. That's amazing. I'm looking forward to it, and this is definitely a must-buy for me. Finally, my favorite pistol caliber carbine slash submachine gun of the 2019 SHOT Show was the unnamed Noveski Prototype 9mm AR. A lot of you are going to be really upset about this because this one of all of them doesn't really do much different than, you know, I kind of lied at the beginning. I said everything on this list is going to be somewhat different from your run of the mill 9mm AR-15. And this kind of is, it's just so slick and so sexy and so good looking. I love it. One of the commenters in the video referred to it as Gucci gear for Instagram warriors. Perfect description. But yeah, it's a Nevesky prototype AR-15 9mm. What I like about it is it's going to come with 32 round Colt mag compatibility instead of Glock mag compatibility. While Glock mag compatibility is convenient, it's cheap, it's nice, it doesn't look as good as the 32 round Colt mag. So this is a very handsome gun. It does have some somewhat unique features in the way of the tri-lug adapter. And it also has a paddle magazine release, just like an MP5, which is pretty brilliant. It's got a beveled and flared magazine, while unlike the MP5, some magazine changes are gonna be a little bit easier. It's got this beautiful, seamless handguard to receiver mating. It also uses a Q Honey Badger brace, which is right now one of the best ones out there, except 
unlike the Q, which only has one length, this one's got two, which is kind of neat. This is also my favorite interview of shot because I got to interview my boy, Mike Pappas of Dead Air Silencers because that's where serial number one of this gun was hanging out. Mike had full custody of it, so I had to go put him on the spot. He wasn't expecting me, I just show up. It's like 11 o'clock and he hasn't eaten anything. So it's so funny, he's sitting there eating a honey bun and I was like, dude, I'm just gonna get the camera rolling right now. And he's like, okay, I don't care. So dude finishes his honey bun before he tells me about this new pistol caliber carbine from Noveski. That's why Mike is the man. One of my favorite comments from that video was, uh, was that Mike murdered that honey bun faster than that SMG ever could. <laughs> Just absolutely perfect. I love it. So that was the best interview I've probably ever done, much less at any SHOT Show. I know you guys are probably gonna agree with my number one pick with my Gucci gear for Instagram Warriors. So tell me what your picks are. What was your top five? What did you like at SHOT Show 2019? Guys, thanks for watching all the SHOT Show coverage. We had great numbers, notwithstanding the fact that a lot of people complained it was kind of a lackluster year for product introduction. I was really happy with our coverage. Make sure to go check out our SHOT Show 2019 playlist. Thanks for watching. See you next year.